Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this spring look. I used a very minty green color and then I used a bright baby pink lip. I just thought this was a great look for spring and something totally different that you guys might be interested in trying. As some of you may know, I teamed up with the beauty app called Perfect365 and some of you may not know about Perfect365, but I'm here to tell you all about it. And honestly, I think this is the coolest app ever because if you're ever scared to try a makeup look or you just want to try something new and just kind of play around with different colors and different looks you just go in the app and there's so many different filters you can pick from like there's hundreds of different filters and I definitely think it's become my go-to app when I don't have makeup on and I want to try a different look or if I just want to add that extra pop to my already finished makeup look you can go ahead and try any filter on there and it's just so awesome so you guys will definitely have to check it out it's free for Android and iPhone so you can just take a look at it I'm gonna have four looks this month and they're all spring looks and I created them so it's super awesome and very very exciting I'm not being paid to talk about Perfect365 and I am not being paid at all for this. I just really believe in the app and I definitely think it's something different and awesome that a lot of you should try out and a lot of you should know about. And I think it's super cool and I couldn't be more excited to be able to create looks for it. So if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave the link in the description box and you can go ahead and check out my pack. It's my spring look pack. I have four different looks and then in the next coming months I will create more. So you guys could definitely check that out. So if you want to know how to create this look all by yourself using makeup, please keep watching and I will show you how. All right guys, so first I'm gonna be priming the skin and I'm using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I'm gonna use this on a Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to buff this into my skin like I usually do. And next I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I use the shade Light Medium. This is just a really great shade for me. It matches me pretty well. And this foundation is so awesome. It is so full coverage that you really don't need a lot to complete your look. You just need a few drops of it and then you can just bounce your beauty blender on your face and voila, it's done. I love it so much. It's definitely a very full coverage foundation. So if you're not into that, then I don't suggest it. Next, I'm going to conceal. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer and I use the shade Chantilly. I believe that's how you say it. And I like to dab this out with a beauty blender as well. So next I'm just going to be baking and I like to use my MAC Pro Set Powder to bake. I usually use this um, when I'm really doing a lot of glam looks because this keeps my concealer from creasing. I just like to bake pretty much my entire face underneath my eyes, also on my jawline and then on my chin and my upper lip. This just adds a more highlighting effect. So next I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm using Anastasia Brow Powder in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just filling them in like I normally do. I really like this color because it's not too much for my brows. It matches pretty well. And I just really love the brow powders. I'm sure some of you know that I do. I've tried the Brow Wiz, I like it too. But I just keep going back to the powder and I really, really like it. And then next, I'm going to set with a clear brow gel and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. So next, I'm just gonna dust off all that excess powder. And as you can see, it really created a nice highlighted effect. Just make sure that you brush it away from your face so you don't get it all over your face. But next I'm going to take the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and I'm going to apply this right on the places that I did not bake. So this is going to give me a nice definition. And next I'm going to go in with Wildflower Blush and this is by Studio Makeup. I love this blush so much, it's just a really pretty peachy pink color and I use this quite a lot. So for highlight I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator and this is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It's definitely up there with Becca Pearl. I think they're very comparable, but I just love this one so, so much. There's something about it that's very different and very unique. So next I'm going to set my lids with some eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Kat Von D High Voltage Primer, my all-time favorite, and I just always use this. I love it. And for me, this is a staple product. So next I'm going to go right into the crease with the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And I'm just using a very fluffy brush to apply this. I'm just going to put this right into the crease in windshield wiper motions and then kind of circling it about. And next I'm going to apply a cream base to my lids. I'm using Fresh Limeade by Sephora. 
and I'm just going to apply this first because next I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow. I always feel like the cream base helps the eyeshadow stand out so much more. Here I'm using Makeup Geek Fiji. This is like a lime green. It's so pretty. It's definitely so unique and so spring. I just love it so much. And right over that I went in with the shade Ritzy and I'm just going to buff this right over that into the crease, blending this all in together. I just want this to be a very blown out effect and I don't want it to be too dark or anything like that. And then I went in with the shade Typhoon and I just applied this to the outer corner of the eye and brought it inward. This look does require a lot of blending, but as you keep going, it starts to blend even more. The more colors that I use, the more blended it looks. I just like to contrast from light to dark and then light again. So next I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner and this is just in a green shade and I'm applying this to the waterline. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Typhoon and Ritzy and I'm just going to take this on a pencil brush and kind of just buff this onto the lower lash line. I wanted to have this green wrap all the way around my eyes because I thought it would be very spring and it would just make this look pop so much. I just decided to keep the darker shade on the lower lash line. I just thought it would look kind of cool and I really did like the way it turned out. And as I'm doing this, I'm taking the brush and kind of bringing it up into the outer V and blending that darker shade into the corner, not bringing it onto the lid. So next I'm going to take MAC Nylon and I'm just applying this to the tear duct area. This is a very bright, shimmery highlight shade, but it looks very green over the greens that I already applied. So I really like the way it came out and it just adds a lot of lightness to this look. So next I'm going to take Nylon and Mirage by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone. So next I'm going to apply a bit of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and this is one of my all time favorite mascaras. I've been using this every single day and I love it so so much. So next I'm going to go in with Everblinks Lashes and these are in Flared Desire. As you can see the packaging is so cute and I just love this style so much. I'm just going to pop these right on. I think these are really nice because they are daytime appropriate and they're very spring. They're not too long, they're not too short, they're not too fluffy. They're just the perfect lash and I think they're very wearable. They also have a really nice band so it was very easy to apply these and so far I'm really liking them. So next I'm going to take the Too Faced 3-Way Eyeliner and I'm just going to add a little bit of black to that inner lash line. I just like to connect this. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this a couple times and I always use this tool to do it and it makes it so, so easy. So next I'm going to take this lip liner by Tarte and these are new. This is the Boho shade. I really like this because it's very peachy, very pink. And you could actually just go ahead and fill in your whole lips with this, but I just decided to line them like usual. I think this is a really pretty color and it would look really pretty if you just used it as a lipstick as well. So next I'm going to fill in the rest of my lips with JD Glow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in Pretty in Pank. That is P-A-N-K. It's such a pretty color. I definitely think it screams spring and I could definitely see myself wearing this in the springtime a lot. I just think it's a very unique color. It's very powdery, very baby pink, and I really, really like it. I also really like the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They're very matte and they're very long wearing. I really, really like them. All right guys, well that is it for this spring look. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next tutorial.